transpired that a Muslim girl taking her school to the High Court over a prayer ban was recently suspended for threatening to stab a fellow student. The pupil and her mother are claiming that the Michaela Community School's ban on prayers is discriminatory and breaches her right to freedom of religion. While head teacher Catherine Burblesing said, we believe it is wrong to separate children according to religion or race. Multiculturalism can only succeed when we understand that every group must make sacrifices for the sake of the whole. It's been revealed in court that the pupil launching the legal challenge told a classmate she planned to harm the school and threatened to stab her if she told anyone what she was suspended for in last April. I'll be bringing you, and this is something I'm very pleased to be able to reveal to you now live on air, I'll be bringing you a bombshell interview with head teacher Catherine Burble Singh herself on this show tomorrow night. And in the day, I feel honoured to be invited to the school where I'll be going and getting a look around firsthand, and we'll be doing a piece on that for you tomorrow night, so right here on this show. Uh, but Kelvin joins me in the studio now. Uh, this High Court case could cost the taxpayer up to a million quid, and actually I think the costs to our country could be much greater if it's successful, your views. Right, so it's a fantastic school. So this is Skint. Brent is one of the poorest areas of the country. There are 700 pupils there, 350 of them, are Muslims. So how does the school do? Fantastic. Over 80% of the children who go into the sixth form pupils go on to a Russell group, you know, imperial, you know, fantastic universities. Those, those who, t who, who just take the English and the maths, you know, the five there, right, they about 92% pass it, right? It, these are unbelievable numbers of People from very poor backgrounds. Absolutely. OK, she is doing a fantastic job. Suddenly she runs into this issue. It's not only going to be an issue for this school mm -hmm. because, right, my, I bet, OK, and I'd like everybody to record this, I bet that they lose, OK? However, Who loses? The, the, Who? The, 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 the Muslim activist okay. girl loses, right? But if it were to go the other way, honestly, it, it, it would be an incredible effect on the schools, and it would cause not only trouble um, uh, between teachers and pupils, what about between pupils and pupils, right? Well, I mean, first, yeah. for instance, what would happen at that school? There are Hindus, there are Sikhs, there are Christians, there are all kinds of people. So my bet is that they do lose. There is no guarantee, there is no underwritten law which says that a school has to have any kind of religion in its school. It mm. doesn't have to have morning prayers, afternoon prayers, anything. Morning assembly, nothing, right? Why should the Muslim community be different? They say we are disadvantaged because we're the only ones that do multiple prayers. What? They can pray in the morning, they can pray in the evening, they're just asked not to pray but during it's, school it's, time. That's another fundamental precedent potentially which I think will be used in wider society which is that it completely separates the category of prayer from other religions to the Islamic faith is trying to attempt to set the precedent that uh, the Muslim prayer cannot be done within the privacy of one's own mind and therefore it needs a public display. And if that is the case, uh -huh. then that can be rolled out in every single workplace. It could be rolled out right across the country. Uh -huh. And I think it would pave the way for Britain potentially to become a quote unquote Muslim country. Which is, which is in fact actually what lies beneath all this. Because remember, this is not only causing the Muslim community are not only just causing a problem in Brent, they're causing a problem in Leighton at the Barclay primary. Hardline elements of it. Yes, yeah. and yes, hardline. Well, are they hardline? I, they might be, they might be. Or they might be the underpinning of the entire Islamic faith. I don't know. I don't know. This is one of the problems. I don't know um, uh, Islamic activists, and perhaps your show should I have some on. The, I think, well, well, yeah, I think one of the problems with this and other situations like it is that when you get more radical elements, and, and this is something that Catherine Burbleton has alluded to, they then try and pressure other yeah. more moderate actors whether it's in the school or not. So why aren't you wearing a headscarf? Yeah. Or why aren't you attending prayer? So where are your prayer mats? Why aren't you doing this, this, this and this? It, and and that's, that's a real problem because we've seen it time and time again with other people who have now been reformed members of extremist groups who have said those are the exact tactics that they use. Well, why doesn't your show invite on 
to activists against other people and have, try and have the debate at a fairly balanced level. Because that's your problem. We, we have, on yeah. numerous different occasions, right. and actually done so, especially when the Israel-Palestine thing was really, really kicking off. Yeah. And I'm certainly not against it doing it in future. Absolutely not. Yeah. But it, it can be remarkably tricky for a variety of different right. reasons. Okay. And certainly the, 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 the attitude that is, that is displayed there, and it doesn't often make for a, a serviceable But debate. this is a fantastic school, and the idea that it, instead of, it's incredible. By the way, you couldn't get these, you couldn't get these marks in any other school in the country. I mean, this is, she is a fantastic person. And the idea that the reason it's become even more famous than it actually was, it was famous, is simply because of a, a, a religious divide and it is very upsetting. Mm. And do you think that if we do end up in a situation where this is, is, is successful at the High Court, mm. are, are you concerned about what that might mean for Britain? Do you know what I would do? Right. After all, we've seen it with Rwanda. We've seen the, the prime minister act or try to act. Mm. Right. He'll have to go. He will have to he will have to push through the, the commons a, a, a law banning this. Right. No mm. ifs and buts about it. We cannot have we cannot have one religious group having uh, being entitled to do something which is going to disrupt schooling for, for the majority.